Osteoarthritis is a chronic degenerative joint disorder where the lining cartilage breaks down and develops cracks and erosions. In time, this exposes the underlying bone and leads to degenerative changes in the surrounding soft tissue, such as the ligaments and the muscles. The majority of osteoarthritis is idiopathic, where no definitive cause is found, and is influenced by age, gender and genetics. Contributory causes include being overweight, having prior joint injuries such as from trauma or sports, previous infections of the joint, occupations, hobbies as well as malalignment of the leg. About 10-15% to of the population above the age of 60 have symptomatic osteoarthritis and this proportion increases to 50% by age 80. Osteoarthritis is more prevalent amongst women. The most common complaint patients have is knee pain. As individuals age, the cartilage that cushions their knee joint can wear away, resulting in bone rubbing against bone. With this wear and tear, normal knee movements become increasingly painful. They would then experience difficulty in climbing stairs as well as stiffness and joint swelling. In severe cases, the pain worsens throughout the day, affecting the patient even when they're at rest. These symptoms can be debilitating and can negatively impact their quality of life. For most musculoskeletal conditions, a non-surgical approach will be sufficient to manage the majority of patients. Healthcare professionals should obtain a good understanding of their patient's conditions, their current lifestyle choices, functional limitations and expectations. Symptomatic relief from osteoarthritis can be obtained from weight reduction activity modification, use of walking aids and pharmaceuticals. Patients will also be referred for supervised physiotherapy sessions with a focus on strengthening the muscles around the knee. In the event that these conservative measures do not work, there are surgical options to treat varying degrees of knee degeneration. Knee replacement surgery might be helpful if you can't walk very long or very well, if you can't get in or out of a chair, if you have moderate to severe pain with activity, or if your knee is bowed in or out. Total knee replacement, however, remains the gold standard surgery for patients with severe osteoarthritis of the knee and is the most commonly performed procedure for knee osteoarthritis worldwide. Knee replacement surgery usually takes one to two hours to perform. During the surgery, unhealthy damaged cartilage is removed from the knee. The surgeon shapes the knee by making precise bone cuts, allowing the metal implants to be fitted over the ends of the femur and the tibia. A plastic spacer is then inserted between the metal pieces to help the new knee joint bend and straighten smoothly. What should you expect after total knee replacement surgery? Almost all of our patients are expected to start walking with supervision right from day one. Patients will work closely with our physiotherapists so that they are able to go home safely. Some patients may require walking aids in the first few weeks of their recovery. This is to ensure that they are able to ambulate safely. Patients will also be taught exercises focused on improving the range of motion of the knee as well as strengthening the knee. Patients are encouraged to follow this rehabilitation program as much as possible. Our physiotherapists will journey with our patients tailoring these exercises as patients recover, get stronger and go back to their daily activities. The average stay in hospital tends to be around 3-4 to four days, after which patients are followed up at our specialist outpatient clinics. During the first follow-up, normally around 2 weeks after surgery, the surgeon will monitor the patient's progress as well as check on wound healing. Most wounds around the knee heal within 2 weeks. The next question that orthopedic surgeons commonly get is when can I go back to work? Most patients who work sedentary, desk-bound jobs are mostly able to return to work by two to three months. As for patients who work manual jobs involving lifting, walking long distances, they may require a longer period of rehabilitation to get stronger. It may take anything between three to six months. So let's talk about some of the myths involving knee replacement. Knee replacement is for seniors. There is no age restriction for total knee replacements. But yes, there are guidelines and recommendations to suggest that those above the age of 50 with severe osteoarthritis benefit most from a total knee replacement. But every patient is different and treatment should be tailored to their needs. Knee replacement surgery means months with bed rest. That I can assure you is not true. As mentioned earlier, almost all of our patients are expected to walk under the supervision of a physiotherapist from day one. The aim of knee replacement is to improve your function and reduce pain. Patients are expected to resume most of the daily activities within three to six weeks after surgery. This includes going to a nearby store to get groceries or to buy food for themselves. 
after total knee replacement, I won't be able to participate in the sports. Most patients who undergo total knee replacement should be able to engage in normal daily activities with less pain than before surgery. Because of the pain relief that these patients get from total knee replacement, they are able to pick up new sports or return to sports that they once enjoyed. Low impact sports are recommended. This includes hiking, tai chi, some forms of dancing, swimming, cycling and golf, just to name a few. Total knee replacements have a low success rate. The vast majority of patients who undergo total knee replacements are very satisfied with their outcomes after surgery. Most of the studies that we have done on total knee replacements here in Singapore General Hospital have shown greater than 90% of our patients being very satisfied with their surgical outcomes. Total knee replacements are only good for 10 years. This is a very old and common misconception that has been debunked as more data is collected about knee replacements. When knee replacement implants were first developed more than 30 years ago, they were more likely to wear out around the 10-year mark. However, today, we enjoy the benefit of better understanding of the knee joint, better technology, as well as better implant materials available. Studies from the American Academy of Orthopedic Surgeons report that more than 90% of total knee replacements function well at 15 years. Many knee replacements last past the 20-year mark. Nevertheless, the surgeon's skill and experience are crucial to ensuring good outcomes and longevity of the knee replacement. My colleagues here at Singapore General Hospital are very experienced surgeons. We perform over 2,000 total knee replacements annually. We have a knee registry of more than 25 years of data. More than 90% of our patients remain satisfied with their outcomes. Many patients go on to lead fulfilling, active and productive lives. Should you experience any symptoms related to osteoarthritis of the knee, do arrange to see one of my colleagues here at Singapore General Hospital.